let's say, right, Oscars or Golden Globe yeah. or whatever, they are super, super desperate. Yeah. They call you. <laughs> Fuck me, they're desperate. Would you not use it to try and find your dad? <laughs> The only way I'm going to find him is I know he's a big Oscars fan. Yeah. <laughs> the Oscar for least supportive dad. <laughs> <laughs> Best adopted screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, the following podcast contains extreme themes and language and is not suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him, a big fat cunt who is riddled with AIDS, and over there we've got a little not gay Tom, how are you doing? You alright? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not too bad. All right, cool. There we go. I was trying to bring some energy to the start of this, but Big I, Quinn's not I, having it. I'm just being authentic. Authentic, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not a hyperactive guy. No, that is true. <laughs> Have you seen the uh, the Golden Globes thing? What's, what's the Golden Globes thing? Uh, I don't really pay attention to a lot of Hollywood. Uh, the uh, so so there is uh, they got comedians to it this time. Joe uh-huh. Coy, all right, who is a uh, Filipino comedian. Yeah, I don't really know any. I've not really seen any of his stand up. I've uh, seen him like host one reality show. I think I've not know. really seen any yeah, of his stand up. Really he's a big comedian yeah. by virtue of the fact that there's a lot of Filipinos. I guess <laughs> <laughs> is that what you think it is? Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, but there's more fat people than there are Filipinos, so you should be bigger than God. No, nah, because they've got Gabriel Iglesias. Right, oh, so the fat market's already covered. Yeah. But that's fat Mexicans. What about the fat whites? Like, now that, what, and like, there's, um, oh, uh, big fat American Southern comic who died. He's, oh, Ralphie May. Ralphie May, he's out of the way now. Yeah, you Ralphie May was low-key fucking brilliant. Oh, he's unbelievable. Well. But like, now the Ralphie May is, you know, cleared out, mm. the fat whites... You're, you're, you've got an open I could goal. be uh, Ralphie Gay. <laughs> <laughs> he does it to himself now. That's lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's their Joe Coy, yeah. and he came in 10 days' notice to right. host the Golden Globes. Like like a UFC fight, like like Volkanovski yeah, coming yeah, off yeah, the yeah, sofa. Yeah. Did someone cancel, though? Why, why did he only have 10 days' notice? Well, either someone cancelled or somebody got pulled. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe uh, someone's tweets got searched. It'd like, yeah. it'd be that sort of thing with a Hollywood event. Yeah. You know? Yeah, apparently it was uh, Tony Carroll was meant to... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like he was meant to be the guest on this podcast. Tony, you rats! Uh, <laughs> now he had to cancel, so last minute, innit? Yeah. Um, we couldn't get Joe Coy, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's going viral at the moment because he yeah. fucking died. Right. He... Have, have you seen some of the clips? Right, I, like, I asked you a second ago what the thing was about this. I've not seen any of it, obviously. Right. I think it was only last night. So if you go, right, like, yeah, if you go, go on yeah. Twitter and have a search for Joe Coy, I don't have any direct links. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm sure that this won't be a problem for Tom. No, J-O. No, it's already failed. He's failed at the first... I mean, he's, spe- he's spelling Joe wrong there. He's spelling it Filipino, mate, you big racist. Exactly. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah, oh my Just God. wrong because it's a different country. Oh, yes. That's unbelievable. Disgusting. I'm imagining you're thinking everything that Filipinos do is wrong. Is having a job where you sift through giant piles of rubbish in order to feed your family wrong? Yeah. Not, is, if, it's, not if it serves a purpose to me. Is, is executing <laughs> drug addicts in a dictatorship wrong? Oh, is actually, that wrong now? I actually quite love that guy's vibe, though. Well, you love his vibe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? The ver- the murderous dictator? Yeah, but I quite like how he was literally like, he got voted on the whole thing of like, oh, if I catch you doing drugs, I'm going to shoot you in the street and kill you like a dog. I don't know if, the, right, when you say he got voted on that, firstly, I don't know how great the democratic process was. And secondly, I don't know if that was his big manifesto pledge i think that's just something he's brought in uh, i don't think that was his yeah. slogan what are you doing I'm here just, I've, well search joe coy right go to, I, keep, right maybe click go, on click on media yeah. that's it I'd love click to on media. media i know i watched and i watched you scroll past what is obviously a man on stage go down go yeah, down i don't know which clip you're looking yeah, for you've gone past it again well there's loads there you go. The one, the one, one, the one with Joe Coy. Yeah. The one with Joe Coy. Yeah. Well, I don't know who Joe Coy is. Yeah, but, no, but if you had to guess, yeah, which one, one of those? Which one of those, one of those things? <laughs> what do you think is the big fat black woman, <laughs> dear? You think that's Joe well, Coy, the Filipino J- comedian? Well, he spelled Joe the girl way, so it could be. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Joel Coyle. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Globes. Wow, you really went for... Uh, I was the, in the top left. Y- you were doing Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, that's what you were doing. I did yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah sing, Hi, sing. I'm Taylor Swift. And guys keep breaking up with me despite my sweet ass pussy. Coming at you like a cannonball. Because <laughs> the player's going to play, 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 play. <laughs> Got to shake it off, shake it off. I can't wait to watch my boyfriend play some football. <laughs> I'm so proud of this album, I put my name on it. <laughs> I'm going to re-record this shit. Get me some royalties. Um, anyway, go on, click on. Uh, the big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. There's just more to go to. Here. Sorry about that. Uh, right. There's a couple more as well if you keep scrolling down. You, the problem with that is you can tell he's already been dying for a while. He does, <laughs> he does not commit to that punchline. Yeah, line. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got... The got, uh, difference a, between... Uh, Taylor no, Swift. Be, be the Taylor Swift to come for that reaction. After a football double header. Nope, nope, that's uh, going to be the same one, isn't it? Uh, uh, am I supposed to know? It's a different duration. Just do, just do it's no. No Tom. caption. It's just, just a bit. Do it's no. It's just, just a no. thumbnail of a man. Try yeah. that one minute and twenty-two long one. That might be uh, more of his monologue. Uh, but yeah, he does die. I mean, that's no, not him. That's a Chinese I man. I mean, no, that's, that's a different <laughs> Freddy. coin. Freddy. <laughs> right, Freddy. Down. Freddy. Yeah. Even if you think they all look the same, not those two. <laughs> like, that guy does not look like Joe Coy. That's worse than anything he's done, thinking that that was Joe Coy. Good down. Good down. I can't see from these thumbnails. Oh, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> you well, you should know. <laughs> what, what miles you should away. know, Freddy. You've got a bigger screen to look at. Right. <laughs> you just turn around and look at that screen, then. Yeah, that's a great yeah, that'll, idea. That'll, that'll, that'll make it right. loads easier. <laughs> give me a second, because I'll send, I'll send it on here. Just, right, just yeah, give me a go. second. Right. Fill some time. He did. Uh, fill uh, some time. Uh, yeah, I've, fill some time. I read an article about him. He did make a joke about of it, because at one point he died, and yeah. he was like, well, I only got this thing 10 days ago, yeah. and then that joke failed as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, like, I, I think on the little clip I just watched there, like, fuck Taylor Swift for that reaction. Like, that was, she full on no sold it. Yeah, She's like, yeah. you know, and it's such a gentle joke. It's not like having a go. It's not a dig. It's not a roast. It's just saying that when she goes to the football, they show her on the telly a lot. Well, yeah, this yeah. is, you know, she could just go, well, help him out a bit, but she just goes, well, yeah. this is she's why she's definitely a fucking prick. All of she the is a prick. all definitely. of the all of the actors do it as well. Like, yeah. like literally, because actors are cunts. Yeah, like the, everyone the... who wants to go to an award ceremony like this is a cunt. I am full on like I don't know anything about Joe Coy, but I'm full on on his side in this. Like, Tom, he's, he's in a you. room full of cunts being cunts. Uh, right, so have a look. So, so have a look at the first. And one. most of them are paedophiles. All right, so this is the one where he references how bad he's going. And look, we've all had gigs like this, just not at the Golden Fucking Globes. Yeah. When she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> <laughs> some I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's uh, here. Uh, Yo, I got the gig 10 days uh, ago. You- I don't, don't throw your writers under the bus, mate. You've yeah, got, you've yeah, got to yeah. take the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. also as well, yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. Isn't it a good look? Go on. Yeah, because yeah, like, also like the, the thing with the 10 days thing is that's enough time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 days is enough time to not be shit. You know, just skip 10 it days. Back. Yeah, for a professional comedian. Yeah. Skip it back. And, and like, you know what the jokes are going to be about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Skip it back 10 seconds so we can, or five seconds. That's not 10 seconds, is it? That's <laughs> never going to be 10 <laughs> seconds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I swear this gets harder every fucking week. It's honestly insane. It's insane how bad you are at clicking things. It's, it's, it's like it's a, he's not even doing a bit. That's what we got to emphasize. Tommy's trying his best and he's just I'm trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> but you I'm half hearted when, when we first brought him, yeah. uh, you jumped down his throat straight away at how bad he was. Yeah. And I've spent maybe a year putting up with it. Yeah. But now is the time. I when, was just right. What? This is you putting up with it? <laughs> no, no, no. Now I'm starting to be like, I mean, that was insane. Like, I was just to be right fair, straight I, away. I, I thought that the video hadn't gone on as long as it had. Right. There is a little thing at the bottom that tells you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't look at it. Yeah. Right, okay. Go I was on. trying to do it too quick. Go on. Right. Click, click, click play. People wrote, Robert De Niro's here. Ready. Nailed it. Yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. 
You got, you're kidding me, right? Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. Oh. Uh, you're saying all of them, though. That's the problem. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah. He had to sign them off. Yeah, like there is, a, there is, you know, even if you are last minute, you have got no sway with this. You can go. We're not saying that. Yeah, that's yeah, bad. yeah. Yeah, I'll write a better one. I'll write a better one. Yeah, and look, I know that's going to be a difficult process. You got producers to get it passed. Everyone's very jittery post Ricky Gervais yeah. doing it and all that shit. That's why someone else probably bailed on it because we're like, yeah. these jokes are shit. I'm not saying that. I'll say what. Rick, Ricky Gervais won best stand up for the Golden Globes. I'd yeah, t- like that's my Golden Globe. Thank you, I'd, Ricky. I'll I'd, <laughs> I'd tell you what. Uh, thank God those Hollywood writers got paid what they deserve. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh God, where would the world be without these zingers? Yeah, I don't know. If if it was the comedy writers anyone gave a fuck about you know like i think it's the, the, the drama writers are doing decent work the comedy writers i thought with this right have a look at yeah. another one that i sent as well there's another one in the link yeah. um so here's another joke of his that did not lend well this is what one people page. are getting upset about what? this one is this been 10 minutes long? 721 page pulitzer prize winning book about the manhattan project and Barbie is on a plastic doll with big boobies. <laughs> I watched Barbie. I loved it. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, people are like, this is why Barbie was made. Why are you objectifying? It's yeah. like, you have 10 days. If you have 10 days to write something, objectifying is a really quick way of getting some jokes in there. <laughs> But also, like, uh, you know, it's very funny to complain about objectifying an object. Yeah, like, yeah, a Barbie, yeah. A Barbie is an object. It's not me who was objectified. I think it was the Mattel Corporation who was objectified Barbie. Do you know what? But, like, th- it's like that, like, oh, this is why Barbie was made. No, it's made to sell Barbies. Let's be fucking clear about that. And it was, you know, that is shit. So let's, know, say, like, that's let's, a bad say, joke. let's say, right, Oscars or Golden Globe yeah. or whatever, they are super, super desperate. Yeah. They call you. <laughs> they're f- oh, fuck me, they're desperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to know how low down that list I am. Well, it's, it's I'd like, say it's lower down than me. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because <laughs> so, I'll be like, oh, that guy who's done ITV in the morning, we'll try him. Well, they were going to get Ricky Gervais, but then they found out that you wrote all of his jokes. Yeah, yeah, they're like, who wrote that? <laughs> that joke's really good. Whoever wrote that one, we'll get him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming, like... You know, three thousand comedians have been struck down with a disease. Yeah, right, you know, yeah, like, yeah. So, like, the, the next God, one. Can't imagine like... next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clear up. Yeah, but imagine how, how depressing all the other shows yeah, are no, going to be. Gonna be. It's going to be the same show three thousand yeah, times. It's like the one after COVID. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, right. So, like, so they've called me. Are you doing it? Ten days' notice. <laughs> yes. But they go, we can't pay you. That's fine. The Oscars, a billion people watch, and I'm going to say the N word. <laughs> like things are going wild, baby. Well, I mean, I mean, like, pa, 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 pa. no, I maybe about but fifty thousand people listen to this, and you still won't say the N word on this. Oh, sorry, yeah, like no, but like, like you sound so, like you're disappointed you're sa- in you're me. You're saving it for a big time. I'm saving it for a end. big occasion. Yeah, no, but, but when there's one here, but, but this, <laughs> well, there was last I week. I know, I really yeah. missed my shot. <laughs> no, like I'm obviously not, but I would say something mental. Obviously, you've got to say something mental. Like if you've got the if you've got the ears of a billion people, you say one fucking yeah, you know, yeah. you just like you you finish up with and David Jason's a pedo, bang, <laughs> I'm out. Why would you say that? Just a random name I picked out, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. cuss out a random person who there are no allegations about. Would you not use it to try? And... <laughs> Sorry, I already know the answer to this is going to be no. Yeah. But I was asking it from a sincere place. Yeah. Would you not use it to try and find your dad? <laughs> I think I'd use Facebook if I was that asked. <laughs> like, it's not like it's not like I'm desperately trying and can't. That's not the thing. He's not just really good at hiding. It's just that I haven't because I don't want to. The only way I'm going to find him is I know he's a big Oscars fan. Yeah. <laughs> and the Oscar, right. and the Oscar for least supportive dad. <laughs> <laughs> Best adopted screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, like I do think, right? There is a little bit where, like, if I did host the Oscars, I would assume word would get to him. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, I yeah. assume he'd hear about that. You know, seeing as like yeah. one in six people on earth watch it. Yeah, and, he, and it's, it's a billion yeah. people worldwide. Well, watch what's it. the what's the actual ceremony? Yeah. I, I think that's made. Up. I, but like, if you think, I like, imagine, I imagine, it's just what, India. That's the thing. That's what's mad about it. No one else. It's just the Indians. <laughs> no Americans. No Americans. Zero Americans. All the Indians. 
<laughs> oh wow, Rob's going to absolutely clean up on his tour to they're Dubai all, or always, Mumbai or whatever. They're absolutely furious that Bollywood films never win. <laughs> Every year. Say, yeah, crossing the fingers. I sat there. Cause we know none of them are nominated, they're but all, you never know. All shaking their head. <laughs> Bollywood films are bad, though, aren't they? Yeah, it's not for me. It's... I don't like musicals. And, like, Bollywood are the gayest musicals, aren't they? I don't think they're the gayest. They're I th- pretty gay. I think they're the hardest to understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's subtitles. That's what it does for Freddy. Yeah, I'm not reading and watching you dance. Yeah. Did That's... you see what won Best Comedy at the Golden Globe? Well, Best Musical slash Comedy TV Show was The Bear. I've watched it. First of all, it's shit. Yeah. And second, it's not It's a comi- not shit. It is shit. It's not. It's not great. And it's not a comedy. Okay, okay. So we've gone from it's shit... So it's not great. Do yeah, you realize that's, that's, they're called chasm. compromising. That's not my point. The my point chasm is chasm of things that can happen just because something isn't great. The, my point is, it's not a comedy. No, it's not. It's not funny. And oh, it's I'll tell you, I tell you what I did watch last night, and by the way, I owe you to a thanks. Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan's documentary. Oh, amazing, yes, isn't it? Oh my god, it's great. Yeah, it's one of the best documentaries. That ever bit made. at the end is like. I honestly like. I was like. Uh, I was fighting tears. It was fucking amazing. Oh, I, I was. I, no, I'd already come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like Freddie's version of like getting emotional enough to uh, fight tears is like finishes it, turns it off, and he goes, "Right, off to shit in a cupboard in the dark." <laughs> yeah. Honestly, honestly, like I was so far away from tears, I was like, "Oh, this isn't boring. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is yeah, memorable." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, if if I watched that with you and you were crying, I'd I'd reach over and slap you. Right. I don't think I would be if I was with you. I think you'd really ruin it. Why? Just because you are incapable of feeling an emotion. It's not that I'm incapable of feeling an emotion. It's just I rein my emotions in to stop fucking, you know, hijinks. To stop hijinks? Hijinks? What hijinks? Just like daft shit. Right. So basically, you will deflect every emotion to stop you being molested. Not molested. This is what it feels like it's getting down to, isn't it? No, no, no. Who molested you? What? Someone molested you. Well, this is what I've always been worried about. I know. And the more I get to know you, the more I'm like, you know what? Freddy's phantom molesting theory really stacks up. I think at some point you must have been dead. I don't think. That's a kink, innit? I don't think. Wanted to molest Freddy. I don't think. (laughs) Being a pedo chubby chaser. (laughs) I don't think that I was ever like molested like um you know I like like bummed stuck to guys cock or something right like you unbummed I think what happened was like maybe I like had a swimming coach that put his finger up my ass and I didn't notice or something something like that you didn't notice <laughs> how baggy was your child <laughs> anus that an adult's man's finger could go up it and you no, didn't notice right, I... today's pool is going to be full of lube <laughs> <laughs> was it like, what do you think he like hid in a toilet cubicle and went, when he went for a poo, he went, oh, this one's going back in. No. <laughs> no, I meant like, so so like I'm trying to swim or whatever. He's like, oh, no, you need to keep your back straight. Then he just sticks his finger up my arm. <laughs> like, but but then, because I'm a kid, yeah. I, I don't notice that that's, that's worth, wrong. worth remembering. Right. Do you know what I mean? But you've just gone... Oh, I felt weird about that. Suppress that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm just like, yeah. in my head, I'm thinking, keep your back straight. I'm not thinking, <laughs> why is there a finger up my ass? And then, were, were you taught swimming by a dog safety instructor? <laughs> or a dolphin trainer? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. Gary, this one's got quite the blowhole. <laughs> so that's so that's that's the level of molestation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think just I like a gentle molestation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, or like, right. you know, like somebody just, you know, like grabbed your dick one time or yeah. something like that, like in the park, and I'm just not remembering. Yeah, no, you can't cry at Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> that was the first domino. <laughs> what? So if you're thinking of grabbing a child's dick, don't. You're going to rob them of all emotion. It's going to ruin documentaries for them forever. <laughs> I've I've never cried at anything on television. Have I don't you never cried I... at any, like... What about Schindler's List? Any no no films oh, music any it. art anything ever no. made you feel emotion? Uh, not feel emotion, but I've, I, I'm I setting the bar low. We'll I work up. I wouldn't cry. Right, it's just not in my nature to do something. Yeah. Like I, I don't. It, it takes a lot now, but yeah. when I first watched Schindler's List, I cried at that. There's a there's really a sad. did you. Schindler's List is like the saddest film sad. ever made. It's pretty sad. Uh, Tyrannosaur might be that might be my tip first. That was that was bleak, but I wouldn't say it's as sad as. Shinner's List. When I was Shinner's List, I knew about the Holocaust, but I didn't know loads about it. <laughs> <laughs> what did it? <laughs> what do you mean? I just. <laughs> 
Well, I was 14. So you were no, surprised it... that the Holocaust was bad. I was, I was, no, what, I wasn't surprised it was bad. That's why he was sad. He was like, wow, this is really bad, actually. I knew the Holocaust was a bit rough, but bloody hell, Hitler, this is not on. Well, at the time... I had, I had no idea how big them trains could be. Well, at the time, I knew there was like a lot of people dead and so they went to school. Go, but I never knew the brutality of it. And don't right. go in there, mister. That's not a shower at all. <laughs> I was like 14. Team when I watched it. <laughs> this wasn't like last week. <laughs> I just love that you've got this picture of like it being like this really like nice holiday camp where every now and again you go for a shower and don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they, they, yeah, they, they were pretty mean. Oh, yeah, I know that now. <laughs> they were pretty mean. They were real meanies, those Nazis. As says the famous historian, <laughs> they were pretty mean. Bang out of order, yeah, I think. Yeah, real, real not on. That's really funny. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rough, man. I yeah. knew it was bad, yeah. but what bit shot? Well, well, like, as soon as this is, is a shocking and yeah, sad yeah. film, like the brutality of it. I actually stuff. don't think I made it through the whole thing because it was boring. It was It's too long and it's like three hours long. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've only watched yeah, it. Yeah, really get it down. It. Come on, get to the point. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what, yeah. what bit got you? What bit made you cry? I think it was probably the Holocaust. It was the Holocaust. I remember yeah. when I was... I remember all, the, when, all the kids getting murdered. Yeah, exactly. I remember when I was maybe 12 or something like that, right? And my whole family, extended family also, were sat around and they were watching The Green Mile. Uh, and they were... Like, my mum was crying. My auntie was crying. Mm -hmm. My cousin, she was crying. And I remember looking around and Freddie thinking... Freddie sat on him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember looking around and thinking, what? Where's my cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah. Oh god! But yeah, I remember thinking like, "What's everyone sad at?" I don't get this. Uh -huh. Like, I, I honestly didn't understand why you'd be so upset at it. It's just a film. I was annoyed the first time. It's, a, it's empathy. That's why. For no, me. but it's not. Though, no, but because, it is because you empathise with it, the character. I'm watching it, and I'm very aware that these are actors acting. Yeah, because you, you'd lack the um, <laughs> the suspension of disbelief, and then the empathy for the characters. That's what people are feeling. They're imagining. What they, what a person would feel where they were going through that situation. Yeah, but they're not going through the situation. It's actors. Yes, imagining. <laughs> Did you hear that word yeah, at no. the start? But why would you imagine it when why, it's there? What, what? What are you imagining? Are you I don't get it. I don't no, get what you're imagining. It's so hard to explain empathy to someone who doesn't feel it. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean when you say why would you imagine it? It's there. They're helping you imagine what that feeling would be like. For someone else, They're trying so, to sorry. convey those emotions. So, trying to convey sorry. that's the point of drama. So, the... is you watch someone going through something, and you sort of like be like, "Oh, imagine what that would yeah. be you like." Feel you feel a bit of it. You sort of understand other people's. Oh, I thought I thought it was just like... literally just telling a story. You, yeah, you thought you were literally just watching shapes and colours, weren't you? Shapes and colours. That's what you want to go yeah, for. Tell for us, the green, green mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new album. <laughs> if you enjoyed the Eras tour. My new one, Shapes and Colours. <laughs> <laughs> this song's called Triangle, bitch! <laughs> <sighs> right. But no, that's it. That's what people are getting out of, like, drama and stuff. And like shapes the reason the reason the reason that the Ronnie O'Sullivan got me so much was because like I was so invested in him. I think he's such like uh, a really like he's such a like a vulnerable and interesting person. He's certainly so fragile. He's, he's a bit of a pussy, isn't he? Damaged so much. And then like to see him like even in that like great moment have that like struggle still, but then have like his rival support. And it was beautiful. It was like and like hearing that speech that Judge yeah, Trump gives him. It's beautiful, man. Like, it's genuinely like it was heartbreaking watching him like still struggling in that yeah, moment. Judge, like, like, Judge Trump well, comes across it's uh, amazing. Judge Trump comes comes across dead well, doesn't he? Brilliantly, it? like what a guy. Like that little speech is fucking like heart like, you know, really got me. It was beautiful. Yeah. Like Do you know what else I think is funny as well? The yeah. fact that the documentary reveals that Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ronnie Wood are friends. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes me think, what do they talk about? Cocaine. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, what do they talk about? Those two cockney drug addicts. I'm sure they get on <laughs> fucking great. They should remake all the two Ronnie sketches. <laughs> <laughs> what, four candles? <laughs> I'm afraid we ain't got no candles in this store. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> get your own damn candles. 
<laughs> this one's called Blue Circle. Let's go. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Joe Coy, yeah. I think, has been uh, fucked over. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like uh, Hollywood will do that to you. But I, I imagine just... also he's got paid a shitload. His name will be Google to fuck today. Yeah. And what'll happen is he's like, I've heard of something makes his dead good. I just don't really know his stand up. Uh, but like, you know, if he is. People will search his name and they'll go, oh, actually, this is good. He just had a shit gig. Yeah, do you know and what? Then it'll, it'll be really good for him. Do you know what run. as well, though, is like you must be fuming when you have all of the best actors in the world sat in front of you yeah. and not one of them can act as though it's not going dreadfully. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how that's the angle to lean into. Yeah. It's like, I know you can pretend to yeah. be happy. Yeah, could, yeah, you, yeah. could you do it now? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've been, I found myself from time to time accidentally sat on the front row of a comedy gig yeah. and you have to go like, yeah. Uh-huh. You have to do the same face as when you're watching a toddler do a little dance after dinner. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, it's like, about as entertaining. Most yeah, of the time, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, I think like, the thing is there. Like the problem with, uh, I think Joe Coy, from what I've, the little I've seen of him, seems like a really nice guy who a lot of his comedy is based on an audience liking him, and that's the sort of persona. So if you're gonna do this sort of thing, right? That's hard. If you go the Ricky Gervais angle of just like, I don't give a fuck what any of you could say yeah. and play to the audience at home. You've got to remember these have a global audience at home. You've got to not give a fuck about the room. I agree. You've yeah, got to be yeah. steadfast. You've got to double down. You can't have any of this like stammering and getting nervous and going, oh, I didn't write all of these. You've got to be down the barrel. You're a cunt. You're a cunt. You're a cunt. Like that's yeah. the only move. Because those I, people aren't even there for comedy. They're yeah, exactly. They're there to they're, win they're, a shitty award. To get their ego stroke. Yeah. And think, you've got to be the counterpoint. That's the yeah. point of stand up is to be like the one in the corner going, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I you know? think um, uh, the other way to play it in his case mm. is to say to us, people who have never been asked to do anything like I this. And never ever. will. Never yeah, yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, like this is a very hypothetical argument. This is, uh, how would you like to score your hat trick in the FA Cup final? Yeah, yeah, you, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You, two, you two are blacklisted from hosting the North West Comedy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not even welcome at awards we're nominated for. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> here's what I would do. I think you lean into that. I had ten days to prepare. Do you know what I mean? He tried. Well, that. He tried that. No, 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 no. He didn't try that. Oh, he, he tried did that to. As an he tried to do it normally, yeah. and then he went. I only had ten days. Yeah. I think if you make I only had ten days the the defining bit and then you try and work around that yeah come I like half dressed yeah <laughs> the, i think it the can be problem funny. is 10 days is too long for that bit if you yeah. say 10 days to a normal person they go okay a week and a half that's plenty of time they're writing up an episode of south park in a week like yeah. that's a lot harder than doing 10 minutes about fucking taylor swift yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah you should be able to turn that over in a day or two i just don't think it's an excuse and especially to like a normal audience who don't do stand up also, you go, i only got this 10 days ago they go also, if you yeah. said if you said to and me, you haven't even, and he's going, and I didn't even write all the jokes. It's what you, have you been doing for ten days then. <laughs> if you if you said to me, <laughs> Freddie, uh, look, you've got a week, you've got seven days, not even ten, yeah. seven days to prepare a five minute, what is it, five, five minutes? ten minutes, five ten minute monologue, call it seven about what's happened. Uh, but also, we're going to give you shitloads of money to hire all your mates yeah. as writers. I'd be like. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll get something done. You'd keep the money and write it yourself. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, too. Right. It'd be dog shit, but it'd be minted. <laughs> but no, that's it. It's, yeah, I, I just don't think that works. Excuse you say, I got this yesterday. If you want to do the last minute thing, it's got to be fucking last minute. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. if you're going to do that bit, I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, these things happen. I don't know. Fine, in it. Who cares? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. the worst thing that's happened at sea in Hollywood uh, at the moment. Have you seen the old uh, Epstein list? Have you been following it? Oh, my. I have been fucking loving it. It's been unbelievable, hasn't it? The absolute, obviously, right? Uh, like, obviously, the one that I think we're all delighted to see on there is Stephen Hawking. Oh, yeah. good I for think, him. I think we're absolutely like, fair play, so Stephen. About time, well yeah. about time there was a bit of inclusion. Exactly. That I, is true representation. I've, I've I've, I've I've started doing a bit on stage. I did it this weekend that I really enjoy, right? And it's about Stephen Hawking uh, being on the Epstein's list. Here's my thing, right? He must have brought his carer. Oh, yeah. At least one. He must have brought a carer to Epstein's Island to yeah. fuck kids. And I think that that's amazing. Yeah. That's a real truth. I'm not even annoyed with him. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's Stephen Hawking. He can do what he wants. Mm. I think he deserves He thought of the theory of something. What theory do you think of? Theory of everything. <laughs> <laughs> The theory of everything. No, no, no. no. I called. want I want you, in your words, to tell me Stephen Hawking's contribution to science. I know it's to do with black holes. I don't understand Well, it was it on the island. 
I don't understand the whole thing. Black Holes is Taylor Swift's next album. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Right, yeah. so it's to do Black Holes. I think we're out there. I think I think he's out. I mean, I've got the I've I've got gifted the book of it, but I've not read it. This is a man who didn't know the Holocaust was that bad until he watched Schindler's List. I think he's no, done. I knew it he's was done, bad. He's done well to get that far. No, what I'm think, saying is, I knew it. it was bad, but yeah. I didn't. I, you, I just never thought of it. Thought, you thought about it, it was, for three hours. You thought it was medium heat, and it turned out it was extra hot. Well, yeah. yeah. I never I never like thought <laughs> of the mechanics of it. The mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. The universe is infinite, and so is my lust for kids. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know his actual theory. I know he does something about black holes, but that's all I know, really. Here's a question. Yeah. If you're one of the kids yeah. uh, on Epstein's Island yeah. and they tell you that you've got to fuck Stephen Hawking, all right. is that the worst or the best person to get fucked I by? I think it's best case scenario. Because because on the one hand, it's the worst because it's gross. But on the other, on the other hand, yeah. he's not pumping, is he? Well, here's, how, here's how you do it, As right? opposed to all the other non-gross rapes, of course. No, I know, but if you had to choose... Yeah, it, no, that's it. I don't want someone violently thrusting up my child ass. I want, you know, someone who's just sat there rolling around. Yeah, no, if you had to choose as a child, yeah. and I'm talking 16, 17, if you had to choose between Michael Jackson or like a former president, yeah. Stephen Hawking, you'd go, I'll have Bill Clinton. I think you Stephen Hawking, I mean? though, it, you can do what you want with him. And he's not going to last very long, I wouldn't have thought. Why? Because he probably doesn't get a lot of shags. I, you're mental. Like, he's Stephen Hawking. He's he's getting drained constantly. And he's like, he was cheating on his missus all the time. That was always a thing. He was yeah. pissing on her, wasn't he? So he I, th- I don't know if you can help that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got to take that as a risk. I think you're looking at this in the wrong way. I think... So, how do you convince a kid to shag Stephen Hawking? What well, you do what you is, do is you take them out of poverty. No, yeah. what you do is... You know those rides outside supermarkets... <laughs> The little cars. Right. You just tell him he's one of them. Right. So you make him put so you put twenty P in his arm and then he goes, Vroom, vroom, <laughs> beep, beep. Stephen, we've got a we've got a plan for you to fuck a child, but it yeah. does involve dressing up like Budgie the little helicopter. <laughs> the fuck are well, you? Well it's not that about? much dressing up to do, is it? <laughs> <laughs> She's got one of those propeller hats on. No, there's loads of dressing up to do. This is yeah. he's, he's the most recognisable... Not to a kid. Yeah, but he's on a billionaire's island. I'm sure they've got a costume budget. I'm sure they can afford for someone to make him a little budgie hat. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think that's, that's the only difference. Ah, uh, put a hat on him, he'll be, he'll be fine. It's not far off. It's Budgie the Dribbly Helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> His postman pat and his black and white spack. It's the helicopter that killed that Leicester president. (laughs) (laughs) Put 50p into riding Faxon's helicopter. Um, Yeah, it's... uh, it's... Kobe the little helicopter. (laughs) Kobe the little... Oh, God. <laughs> Helicopter crashes must be one of the worst ways to die. Nah, one of the best. Nah, no, 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 no. Because the right. bit before when you're going down and like the whole That'd world's spinning about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not as bad as like drowning or suffocating or getting raped yeah. to death. It depends how, how long the crash is. Yeah. Yeah, and also, it's... it might be fun. You might be like, wee. It's, awful, <laughs> it's an awful lot better than like dying in your sleep, though, isn't it? It's not better than that. Well, yeah, but that's like, you know, number one, obviously. Well, is number one dying in your sleep? No, I think number one is like brain aneurysm where you just bang dead. Asphyxia wank. Nah, that, I think one. number one is saving somebody but from like a train. You would never do that. What the fuck are you on no, about? No, I'd never do it, but that's the best way to die. The only way you'd save someone from a train was if you tripped over and derailed the train with your fat ass. <laughs> if you ate the last poison sandwich from the buffet. <laughs> Poison sandwich. What are you? T- what a long way to get towards calling me fat. Poison. Sa- Look, if you ate you've the got last. Get, you've got to get creative in fat jokes. No, now. We've this, done no, 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 no. Murder on the Trans Pennine Express. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh, I'm going to poison this cheese triple. Sorry. <laughs> Is anyone eating the last poison sandwich on the buffet? Well, they don't know it's poison. That's the whole point. What yeah, sal- but yeah, but if it's the last one, it implies that we're fucking shitloads Bing, of them. Yeah, but you've them all. <laughs> the buffet cart will be open on the third carriage and will be serving a range of poison sandwiches. <laughs> poison sandwich. Today's sandwich of the day is poison. <laughs> poison and pickle. <laughs> yeah, there's always fucking pickle for no reason. Yeah. Um, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you, I don't, I don't no, know. No, the best way to get it go, obviously, is heart attack getting sucked off. Nah. Just like if it's like an instant one, whilst you're getting... Yeah, you're I think literally, getting as, literally as you as finish. You come, yeah. Heroin overdose, I think, must be right up there because you smacked off your bollocks. So yeah. you're going to be like, whoa! I, and then you just I think I had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I'd, I'd, I bet. The, the, the one when I collapsed... I think I think that was a heart attack or some sort of heart attack related thing. Yeah, it was a heart failure and, of some kind. Wasn't and it? I can tell you now, it's the most pain you can ever like. It yeah. hurts a lot. And he got fucked by a fourteen-inch dick. <laughs> yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Just gay. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I don't yeah, think heart attack. I bet it like looks really painful. I'm dead scared of heart attacks. They look horrible. You won't. You won't enjoy the blowjob. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It'll really ruin the blowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah right, yeah. yeah. It's really going to take the shine off it. Egg, exactly. Maybe not heart attack then. I meant more like instant death whilst you're getting noshed. You what know? about like If Freddie was having a heart attack, he'd be yeah. like, quick, cheer him up, put a dick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Like a baby's dummy. Like he's, like, <laughs> he's getting cranky. He's like, bruh, bruh, bruh. put a dick in his mouth. <laughs> what about um, what about being shot in the back of the head like Tony Soprano? Yeah, that's pretty good. Like instant bush. Mm. Yeah, gone. so you're just like, yeah, and anyway. Whilst you're getting sucked off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. We've come together. Whilst you're on heroin as yeah. well. I think you should be on heroin. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, from what I've heard. Mm. And brain aneurysm just thrown in. Just thrown in. I don't thrown think in. you need it if you're getting shot in the head. <laughs> yeah, but it's good to yeah. be safe. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. And eat a poison sandwich. And eat... <laughs> I know, I don't want to die of poison. Yeah, but sandwiches are delicious. <laughs> Depends on the sandwich. If it's one off a train, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, train sandwiches are gross. Yeah, yeah sad, are, warm yeah. sandwich. No, do, thanks. Do you know... Expensive as well. Uh, <laughs> not my main problem with it, but fine. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying Dead Men Talking. And if you are, why not become a Patreon? You can, tight bastard. You Give can, us three quid. You can sign up at patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod and for that you get an extra episode every single week you get access to specials and you get to help support the podcast in a way that will make it a long-term thing because yeah. without the patreons we couldn't afford to keep doing this so and uh, we're definitely going to get in a lot of trouble at some point and uh, having like a built-in audience that aren't going anywhere that are subscribing oh. really will protect us lawyers ain't cheap bro <laughs> um, so look if you are enjoying it you can actually head over to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod right now and sign up for a seven day free trial and for that you'll get access to everything so you can check out if it's for you before paying yeah and don't go for a free membership by the way that's not the same thing free trial and then you get access to absolutely everything on the patreon and if you're just dead uh skin or cheap just try and watch everything in a week good luck there's too much stuff we hope you're enjoying this week's episode of dead men talking and as a special treat here is a snippet of a previous patreon only episode I remember once going on a school trip to somewhere fucking shite, but having to stay over, mm. and all the teachers got pissed, and two girls who were right slags in our year did a dance, and they were like 14 years old, it was the most cringeworthy thing ever, but they put on like tiny little fucking skirts and boob tubes and shit, and danced in front of the... T it was fucking grotesque. That's it was horrible. Oh, you watched like a live dancing. <laughs> I literally you did. You were in the audience. You got cooked by a dancing. <laughs> and then he said, and that's what he's, uh, Quinn thought, I'm going to become a teacher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One day a career was born. <laughs> that's Fuck. where the pussy is. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's not okay. It's not at no. all. Uh, I remember being very annoyed that I didn't get the lead part in a school play when I was like nine or ten. Like, you know, when I was in the year old enough where you might get yeah. the lead role and someone else in my year did. I don't think they were as good. They're not a performer now, so I win. I got it in sixth form, um, but it was in Guys and Dolls, and I was one of the guys. But my, really? Yeah, but my girlfriend was the playing my girlfriend in the thing, but then we split up, so I just quit. <laughs> I've just had another memory. I love it when he remembers things it's from not, his bleak, bleak it's life. It's not going to be. It's, it's from the same school trip. Right? <laughs> it was in France, right? Um, and so we stayed around, and it was like in loads of. So, so that was on a trip. Yeah. So I've so three hundred people have gone to France. No, 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 no. Not me blowing the fucking thing. I was like five then. Right. This is a different memory, different time. Right. Twenty odd people. Same trip as what? France. As the girls. Done it. Oh right, sorry, sorry, sorry. That I'm so with you. I'm with you. I um I was going round. So I had some of my mates there, and it, it was shite. Really didn't like it. But um 
I had a bit of money that I'd saved up that we were using to get pissed with, yeah. basically. So we'd smuggle wine back and just get pissed. You know. You're buying booze for people to get popular. That's very sad. No, no, no. I was bleak. one of the... Po- anyway, doesn't matter. So, right. Um, this is... Again, you're going to fucking rinse me for this, but I don't care. Um, I obviously back then had a problem with food. <laughs> yeah, just back then. And <laughs> I'm really glad you got that under control, mate. You're a real I, inspiration to all of us. I, what, what was, how, how did you do it? How did you manage to master this? No, no, so I, so I was really picky. Uh, and the food that they served up was, like, not nice. Like, it was just every one of my food triggers was just... Wasn't in a bucket? It was... It, <laughs> Everything, <laughs> everything wasn't. Take this away and bring me the feedback. <laughs> uh, so everything wasn't like you know, it, it was just gross. But by the end of the f- like third day, I was really fucking hungry because I hadn't eaten anything at all. Like, and my mates were like, "You need to eat something." Like, you haven't eaten. Can you imagine anything. how long it would have to be before someone said that to Freddie? <laughs> so anyway, I got a kebab. At this fucking French place. Yeah. Big fat kebab. Le kebab. And I'm literally just fucking scranning it as we get back to these coaches, right? I remember just fucking scra- scranning it. And um, and I remember one of the teachers looking at me and they said, oh, what you, you got? I was like, oh, I'm just eating a kebab. And they are like, all right, sound. Anyway, at the end of the trip, they did like a presentation uh, and they gave out trophies. So they gave out like best trophy for... <laughs> French or something like that. Best most, tr- most likely to be fat. Well, <laughs> fattest cunt. Well, well honestly, my, mine was pig of the week. <laughs> pig of the <laughs> week. <laughs> Brutal. Absolutely <laughs> scarring. That. That's fucking amazing. Pig, <laughs> pig <laughs> of the week. <laughs> Do you know what I have been... Uh, getting obsessed with this week right um, running salad nope i'm waiting, overage women i'm, I'm waiting for uh I'm wait, women i'm waiting Vagina? i'm waiting for uh tom to to take the hint and perhaps get like a a thing up that i might have emailed through i mean it wasn't a good hint really. no, it, it, wasn't was, a good it was it was a decent enough hint i would say what have i been obsessed have you been getting into nonce poo <laughs> no no babies i have peru been, i have been getting obsessed with XL bully internet. I've oh, actually sent a couple yes. as well. Uh, I've yeah. got it right. So you should we also... start the one that we've all sent? Is uh, it? Is it the, is is it it the, the bloke in the pub? Oh god, yes, yes, excellent. It's my favourite thing. In the it's world. fucking amazing, isn't it? XL bully owner wears muzzle to Ellesmere Pier. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the thing. What the fuck? Oh yeah, it was the cookies message. <laughs> it was the cookies message. That was genuinely what he tried to blame them, wasn't it? You know what Did it was? Did you see that? It was actually. He tried to blame the cookies pop up. It's on a different bit of the screen. <laughs> it's actually. I thought this clip would be better if I didn't say Ellesmere Port and just Why? said pub. Okay. Why? Be then it'd be a better, better clip. Why would it be a better clip? Because nobody cares about Ellesmere Port. Stop editing whilst you're speaking. Well, that's my problem. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Right. If you're not good at one thing at a time, don't do two things at a time. Right. Okay. <laughs> XL bully owner wears muzzle to pub and sips pint. Say Elsmere stru- pub. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him say pub. We'll move on. XL bully owner wears muzzle to Elsmere pub. I was saying it then. <laughs> XL bully owner wears muzzle to Elsmere pub. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Just say pub. Just say pub. XL bully owner wears muzzle to pub and sips pint through straw. Oh, is this the one in Ellesmere Port? Yeah, where was it? Where was was this pub? It's in Ellesmere Port. All right, okay. It says in the headline there. Uh. But we can get this out of the clip. (laughs) (laughs) Eamon McGeady. Oh, he sounds like he played for Celtic. I know, he really does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go on. Eamon McGeady donned a muzzle to match puppy Lexi. When he was called in for a pint at the straw hut. When he pub. called in for a pint, he All wasn't. Right. He wasn't called in. Yeah, it's a like, like jury service. Eamon, <laughs> get in here quick. <laughs> Bring the muzzle. Oh my god, that picture. It's so funny. What a prick. An irate dad. Imagine being his son. Oh my god, you got to go back to school on Monday. All your mates are wearing muzzles. <laughs> your dad yeah, yeah, wears yeah. a muzzle to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. An irate dad has staged a one-man protest against new laws, which means XL bullies must now wear a muzzle in public. 
Amy McGeady donned a duck muzzle. 51. In... That's an important detail. This is yeah. a 51 year old yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Donned, Amy McGeady, 51, donned a dog muzzle in solidarity with puppy Lexi, aged six months, on a visit to his local pub. What's very funny about it is he's described as irate in his own article about him, right? Which yeah. suggests if he's irate and getting muzzled, good. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah. maybe tr- it seems like someone who. Because his whole thing is like, oh, so I need a muzzle, do I? And like. Yeah, maybe, actually. That might be good. Maybe you could shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right. He even kept the muzzle on while enjoying a pint, managing to sip it through a straw. Eamon and Lexi wore matching protective guards when they called into the Straw Hat Pub in Great Sutton, Ellesmere Port. Can we have a look at this pub, please? Google it. I think I might have gigged at the Straw Hat in Great Sutton. Um, What's really funny about this is um, he he had to sip his pint through a straw. He's trying to be a big, tough bloke, making a point about his big, tough bloke. (laughs) And he's got to go, pinky out. Oh, he looks a bit shit, doesn't he? He looks like it's... It's a pub. It's It's a... a, Look at a vending machine. That's weird. That is weird. Who's got a fender in their pub? It's a pub. That yeah, is a yeah. regulation pub. It looks like it's it's been done up. It's in the been last... done up cheaply. Yeah, recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's been that. done up a little bit. But it's just your regulation pub, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's certainly somewhere where he's walked in and they've all gone, "You fucking dickhead." Oh, that smoking area is bleak. That as is fuck. bleak. Him sat out there with his muzzle on. <laughs> <laughs> Every dog that goes past. Every human yeah. that goes past. <laughs> How has this ended up in the papers? Is what I want to know. Because it, it's cut like he's definitely sent it in himself. I think he did a video, didn't he? When oh, it was it like TikTok maybe, or something? What like, a right, stupid right, right, right. Eamon's protest may have amused other customers in the pub, but proud daughter Ellie says there was a serious reason behind it. Proud daughter Ellie. I noticed that she is old enough not to be at school anymore, so maybe that's why she's proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She says he did not eat. She says he did this to make a point about the impact of the new legislation on XL bully dogs. Yeah, if you make these dogs wear muzzles, they're gonna have to sip their pints with straws. <laughs> <laughs> what a great point, mate. Well done. Oh, captain, my captain. <laughs> you stupid gun. <laughs> I love it when people think they're on a great soapbox. I've got another thing to show you a bit. There's one of these as well. I love it. I love it so much. We're just like, well, yeah. This is what I love about the entirety of the XL Bully uh, internet culture, because I've got a few of these, yeah. where it's people humiliating themselves. Yeah, 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 But they are so insistent that they are right. Yeah. That they just, they, they won't listen to any fucking, they've just got it in their heads. Yeah. Like this guy, in order to try and make a point about his puppy, has engaged in homosexual <laughs> BDSM in his local pub. <laughs> He has got into puppy play in order to try and make a point about sipping pints. Right, I don't... here's a question. Yeah. When do you reckon he put the muzzle on? So, <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon? I hope he drove there. Yeah. I the... hope he got the bus. Yeah. <laughs> or do you reckon he got the bus and it was just in his pocket? And yeah. he was like, oh, well, When he stood outside, he's like, right, time for the muzzle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he put it on like that. So funny. Just, there was a point. Yeah. where he was putting the muzzle on his face. Yeah. And I just want to know if it was just as he was about to leave the house yeah. or just as he was about to I think he should have got one of those puppy play masks with the little ears as well, really sold the whole thing. Maybe have one of those butt plugs with a tail. Oh, God, is there any more of this? Oh, yeah. here we go. Ellie, an apprentice engineer from Chester, uh, expressed her disagreement with the muzzle rule. Do you reckon she's fit? Let's have a look at it. Ellie, what? <laughs> Why is this important? I don't know. It's just I pay attention to it. McG- Apprentice engineer, probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, if it, what job would she have that you would think is fit? Model. <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> he has got you. An He's a done volleyball it. player. An, an apprentice model. Ellie, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, she said we'd be happy enough to walk on a lead, but we're not happy with the muzzle. It's just not nice to see. Eamon isn't the only owner to go to such lengths, and another man did similar. What's similar? <laughs> like, he just put a lead on. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, he did a shit next to a tree outside. <laughs> uh, he's walked in and sniffed Eamon's ass. <laughs> yeah, dog food for a funnel. Pissed up the bar. <laughs> <laughs> She added that Lexi now hides when it's time for a walk because she knows she has to wear the muzzle. Ellie also claimed that other dogs have started to bully Lexi. (laughs) (laughs) How ironic. Shut the fuck up. Other dogs have the concept of bullying. Yeah. 
What a They've all gone, ah, look at your muzzle. Yeah. No, it's, it's worse than that. It's actually cyberbullying. <laughs> One of them set up a fake Twitter profile being like, ooh, I'm a little gay in a muzzle. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> bullying. Dog bullying. Yeah. Fuck me. It was bullied by an XXL bully. Elliot also claimed that other dogs have started to bully Lexi since she's been on a lead with a muzzle and said that people's reactions towards Lexi have changed. <gasps> yeah, they're safe. <laughs> yeah. Phew, thank God that massive dog's not going to bite me. She said before people would come up and give, and give her a stroke and a pat, but now we're getting more evil looks off people instead. Despite the ne- negative reactions, Ellie was proud of her dad's protest at the pub. She said dad would, was drinking pints using a straw through the muzzle and getting on the floor with Lexi to play around with her. Yep. Getting on the floor, mm-hmm. I reckon, muzzled up. Yeah. How much you betting this guy fucks his dog? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! I just love that he thinks he's like a freedom fighter. In his head, he's Martin Luther King. Do you want to see? Uh, do you want to see Rosa Barks? I saw someone call yeah. him. Yeah. Rosa <laughs> Barks is great. Yeah. Um, Malcolm XL bully. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> Should we have a look at a few other... Uh, yeah. So this is a few other people who the whole XL bully thing has made them lose their minds. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, is this the one who drove a shitload to Scotland? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, XL bully Scotland. Woman helps rescue 30 before ban. Well, this is a woman in Scotland, yeah. right? A 20, 21-year-old woman. Yeah. I'll, I'll just summarise the article. She's a 21-year-old woman who's taken in 30... XL bullies yeah. from England that were going to get destroyed before the ban. Yeah. She already has... Uh, one of her own XL right. bullies and she has a baby. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> her straw bill is going to be astronomical. <laughs> it's like doing that, having a baby and 31 <laughs> XL bullies. It's like being someone whose job is transporting trays of soup who floors their house with lube and marbles. It's what it is. I reckon it's Lucy, just, Lucy let me read this story and went, fucking hell, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> she's, she's set up a home alone trap in her house for her baby. It's so ludicrous. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this bucket of valuable water at the top of this rickety but, ladder. But, but 31 XL bullies yeah. and a baby. That's 32. That's large for a classroom size. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to see that Tom Selleck movie. 31 bullies and a baby. <laughs> They've got a buddy system though, so everyone's partnered up in that classroom situation. <laughs> you might be able, to, you might be able to read some stuff out. Oh my god! Uh, we saw all the dogs being abandoned and knew we had to do something to help," said Miss Sterling, whose rescue bully Enzo now lives with her family and her other ex bully Terra. All right, so I that's... noticed it's Muz divorced. Mm, no, not necessarily. Muz uh, can be anything. Probably widowed from all the ex bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at some more. Go back. Right. Uh, you've very misunderstood. You've misunderstood the point of Muz, though. Tom. I thought that was for divorce people. No. Well, it's, no, no, o- it's, it's often used by divorce people, but it is the uh, the female equivalent of Mister in that it doesn't denote marriage status. That was the problem that they had was that Mrs. Ah. Miss and Mrs. were based on your marriage status, whereas Mister isn't. Yeah. So Muz is just female. Doesn't yeah. want to say. Right. Yeah. So it always means divorce. That you are right. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah My yeah, mum yeah. uses it. You know. Yeah. 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 It, it, nine times out of ten, you bang. No on. married people. But it's one of those where it's like you know they could. Good, yeah, but they don't. I got yeah, some yeah. more. I got some more. They don't want to go back to Miss because that's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And miss. also, it's one of those where you're like, if you're like 50, and you're called Miss. It's just like a bit like you know. Yeah, it's like calling someone your girlfriend when you've been with them for a decade and you're 40. Yeah, it just feels a bit like. Or like pensioners when they have girlfriends. That's, yeah, that's so you don't have a girlfriend. You've got an old ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, an yeah, OAB. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If a vagina's over 35 years old, it's not a girlfriend. Right. It's, it's a... It's a what? A, 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 a cohabitant. A cohabitant? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. 36-year-old vagina. I'm cohabitant. Any cohabitant, sir? <laughs> right, have a look at some more. Yeah. Uh, as, as no, some more on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's just a funny one. I've got loads of them. This is one of my favourite things. Yeah. Um, have a look at this. Me, 
I can't tell you how much I'd rather watch someone cut their own dick off. You know, you know what? Like... Honestly, I think it's worth every exo bully now gets to kill a baby to stop these videos. Uh, yeah, just let him have just... one. Describe what you saw in the video as well. Like, I, for, I, for the I saw a fate worse than hell. <laughs> that was, it was horrific. It was, it, it, it was a woman in what, what is most likely a council house, let's be honest. Um, and she's dancing. And the puppies, the, the dog's just on the floor, just Wriggling. kind of like wriggling, showing and its belly. Whilst, while she does a rap so bad, I think it's racist. <laughs> I think doing that to black culture is racist. It's the most racist thing since Taylor Swift. <laughs> that is she's so... Putting, she's putting that cover on her new Shapes, shapes and Colors album. I, I was already cringing so hard. Then the rap verse started and I wanted to kill myself. Well, if, you, if you're if you a fan of cringy raps... No, uh, I can't take any more, This mate. one, this mate, one... Friend, I, I this guy is I my... Do it. It's my new favourite. This guy makes his own raps about XL bullies. Him, sh- I mean, she... she did. I think she made that all no, that no, was like a cover even... version <laughs> no 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 but she he, he really takes it seriously oh i know the guy i know the guy yeah it's so cringe isn't it see why has my bully got to suffer because all these other people's actions man he's irresponsible owners now i can't believe this happened now they want to put a muzzle on his face and treat him like a beast and make him look like all the stereotypes that you lot think of mean i mean any dog can be a killer man the trouble's in the own there's a line there any dog can be a killer no, they can't. Yeah. They're, they're a dog, like, your dog could not kill a person. How many... Your dog would try, but it's tiny. How many miniature dashes? <laughs> yeah. To How kill many a are you, before you're getting down? Not every I don't think a, a miniature dash could kill a baby. I, th- I think it'd fucking struggle. It'd have to choke it. I think my dog could kill a baby. Mm, I think your dog would try it. It's too small. It could injure It'd have it. to be trained to do it. Yeah. Or I'd be a ridiculous accident. Yeah. yeah. To like, actually kill it. Whereas yeah, an XL yeah. bully, I'm like, yeah, Easily. that's going to kill that baby. Just one shake. No, a- no, no. An XL bully could kill an adult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you back yourself against one XL bully? I think so. But, I, like, you know, it's it's not a, like, a definite win. Is it? I wouldn't put myself in that situation. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in it. But I think if I... The thing with them is they often, like, you know, they run up and get you really surprised. If I knew I was fighting a bully... I think I could have it. UFC. UFC. We're in the octagon. Because yeah. I think like it's not going to have a lot of strategy. It's going to come straight at you. And I think I'd do the Jorge Masvidal flying knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog yeah, chin. Yeah. I do think I think I could, but I would not come out of it unscathed. I'm getting fucked up in it. You're getting, you're getting sent to hospital. Oh, 100%. Because like, I think once it latches onto my arm, I'll be able to get its neck and then... That's, I, well, I, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that gonna... fight for a million pounds. You like, wouldn't? No. I would fucking. T- I've, I used to have a bad phobia of dog. Yeah, it's he's, not as bad he's, now. He's, he, you should see him when my lovely sweet dog like shuffles yeah. up to him. He's I'm like, still like, I still don't like dogs. Yeah, but really. I can be in a room with him now. Yeah. A, but a few just, years ago, I couldn't be in a room with him. He stands so still, and like Bernie's just like, "Hello, mate. Hello," and he's like, he "Just yeah, pats him like that." Can I ask you a question? And yeah. I don't want to like. Um, uh, like, like, what's the opposite? Like, what's kink shaming in this? Like, fear shaming. Phobia I shame. Yeah, yeah. Phob- phobia shame. Yeah. I don't want to phobia shame you. But what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, dogs are nice. You <laughs> like, fucking I got bit by dog when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. And then I've just been scared of him since then. But like, I'm, it is better. I am better now. Weirdly, when I got, since I got a cat, now I'm better with dogs. But <laughs> it's, it's some, I don't know how that happened. What a weird little man. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 little I'm, man. But yeah. it's good because now I can be near dogs and yeah. I can touch dogs. I couldn't touch dogs before. Yeah. Well, but an XL bullet, I would, I would not get in an octagon with yeah. an XL Not for a million pounds? No. No I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you how. Because you... I, I think I would die. I honestly tell you how I'd beat an XL bully, yeah. right? So I would give it. You'd wait for it to eat enough of you that it just got <laughs> so fat it couldn't fight anymore. I, I I'd give it. Yeah, like the rope a dope. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna win with overfeeding. <laughs> so I'd probably. <laughs> Freddy uses bloat. It's super effective. So I think the dog would just get tired of chewing. All that's that it. Fat. Yeah, his <laughs> jaws like fucking out. Oh, love. Me. I would. I, oh, would, I couldn't have another bit. I would probably um, sacrifice a limb. Yeah. So I'd go on my left arm. Yeah. It'd bite it, and then I'd use that to sort of grab it and choke it. Yeah, and yeah. Fucking. That's basically, you're on a chance because they're going to be faster than you. They're strong as fuck. Once they latch on, they're ripping tendons and muscles and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not in any way underestimating it. I just think if it's a fight to the death and you've got that level of stake on it, I think I could win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, you know, I'm not 100% and I'm definitely getting really fucked up. 100 I'm like, I'm getting very hurt. Yeah. Like yeah, any yeah. toddler's getting destroyed, obviously. You know, I think anyone under 18 is getting destroyed. Now, there's, there's some hard like teenage lads who go to the gym, I reckon, could take one. 
Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every now and again, you see a lad in the gym where you're like, you're a child and you could kill me, and that upsets me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really upsetting. We see one of them on a punching bag, and you're like, if that was my head, I'd be dead, right, anyone, and you're 15. Anyone under 16, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get fucked. I reckon Luke Littler could take out an XL bully. No! <laughs> Luke Littler could have an XL bully with his fucking fat head. Boff! Did it in one dart? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's accurate as fuck. Just straight down a nostril. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like when they beat up the you know, when they destroy the fucking Death Star yeah. going down that little tunnel. It just uses the Straight force. down its throat. Yeah, yeah. just but pins yeah. it to the octagon. Yeah. XL, XL bullseye. <laughs> Come on, hey. XL bully Twitter is an amazing thing. Yeah, uh, it's I fucking. fucking I can't. I can't watch any more of this guy rapping. Why? Because it's, no. it's horrible. He's good. He's good at. He's not. He's dreadful. I mean, he's like. He's actually like fine. At like technically rapping, but he's like. But it's just cringy as fuck. Yeah, it's the content that's awful. Yeah. Like he is obviously much much better at rapping than the last woman but the content is so cringe and so po face but also as well also as well you've got a dangerous dog just put a small muzzle on it yeah it feels like it feels like such a small compromise yeah 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 it's like you know going like ah i want to be able to have this dangerous dog i don't want to have to have a license don't want any government oversight and i don't want to put a little hat on it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. come on yeah just just have a little meet a little bit in the in the middle yeah it's a little tiny thing put a little muzzle on it so it doesn't like gore a child. Yeah, you know, yeah. there it's we insane. go. Absolutely insane. Yeah. People are like, "Well, this is the biggest infringement of my liberties." Yeah, Life the fuck. It's not even your liberties; it's the dogs and the toddler. Yeah. I think more importantly, in fact, you've actually, uh, I see there, you have, uh, you have also sent in another thing that I sent in, which is the same thing of someone being on a crusade, reckoning that they have oh, a righteous yeah, point, this. and it is fucking incredible. Can you click Quality Street? Yes, it's. Amazing, isn't it? This it. is a mum that's lost her shit. This is, she goes, get the camera and film me. I have just opened a tin of Quality Street for probably the 60th time in my life. Pause it. <laughs> what I, a ridiculous thing to say. I know, what a ridiculous 60th time in my life. Probably the 60th time in my life that I've opened a tin of Quality Street. It's so funny. You know that when a rant starts off, yeah. I've just opened a tin of Quality Street for probably the 60th time in my life. When you're claiming you are an expert in opening Quality Street, is essentially <laughs> oh, what she's Oh, I know done what there. to expect. Yeah, yeah. I have done this tens of times. I do it annually. <laughs> if anyone knows... <laughs> It's no, unreal, it? no, it's not though because she didn't open them when she was a baby, did yeah, she? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Like she wasn't like, oh, God, God, she's God, probably opening maybe it. one point five a year. I'd no, say. maybe she was some sort of child prodigy. <laughs> maybe she was like, that's the thing. She was, <laughs> she was the Luke Littler of opening Quality Street. She was just born into it. She had this natural talent, you know. Yeah. But like, what I love is like, Freddie, you, uh, I am sure, as well as I have, have had complaints in this tone from this type of woman. So many oh, times. Like gigs. As soon as you hear that tone, I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't care about your opinion. Yeah, as yeah, soon yeah, as yeah, I hear, yeah, yeah. At the, da, 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 yeah, fuck off. Yeah, it makes me think of her up for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Get on our Patreon for more on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the email was. This is it. This is exactly what the email was. Um. Yeah. Should we carry on? Yeah. Tom, that's why we both looked at you. Yeah. <laughs> we were just hoping that at some point you'd sort of get into some sort of rhythm with us, where you'd understand that if we well, stop yeah. talking and go. Well, I didn't know you know to keep talking about air up. But that's what cool. I have found inside is this travesty. This is a travesty. I'm... What? Right. First of all, yeah. I, I've seen this woman complain about. I don't really know what she's complaining about. I know yet. what she's complaining about. So when I watched this the first time, I was like, "Are there too many toughy pennies?" That's what or my thought is. That's I, I thought it was going to be a I ratio thought, issue. I thought that as well. So I. Thought, that's normally what people complain I about. I thought in my head, when you have a look at that, there's slightly too many. There's of fuck the all green orangey, triangles. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's fuck yeah. all green triangles, and, and that is a legit. And complaint. I also, I also thought it was going to be a joke as well. Yeah. But she's not joking. She's definitely oh, serious. Oh, no. No one has ever been less joking than this woman. Yeah, This yeah, woman yeah. has never told a joke. No, or no, 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 no. A joke. But I no, know no. she has this. never experienced joy, uh, except for opening some shiny rapid sweets. But do you know what? This happened to me and my family over at Christmas. Yeah. And this is what happened. Uh, we were at uh, my uh, auntie and uncle's house. And this is what happened. Uh, do you want a quality street? Oh, go on, yeah. Oh. Freddie's eating them all. Oh, if they... <laughs> Oh, it's empty. Now, try the heroes. Now you got to those. Oh, no, we buried some roses in the back garden. Nah, nah, he dug those up. He sniffed them out instantly. I got myself some miniature heroes. Quiet, Taylor. Quiet. 
Uh, right. So we should explain before we met, but the, the thing she's complaining about is the new rappers that aren't shiny yeah, plastic. But this was yeah. my thing. This was my thing. I went, oh, is that a different rapper? And, and uh, my auntie went, oh, oh, I think it is. And then that, yeah, yeah. That, that was that it. happened in homes around the country. That this was year. the level yeah. of care that you should give Although, to it. Although I'll be honest, it was a very different reception in the uh, tediously vegetarian hippie household that I was in, where we all went, "Oh, that's good. That's good. Less plastic. That's very good." Is that what you all said? Basically. Oh, yeah. you fucking. <laughs> Basically, yeah. everyone was like, "No, that makes a lot of sense." What are they made out of now? Just like paper, rather oh, than yeah. say you know, so more recyclable. Sound. Cool. Yeah, they're slightly less shiny though, and this woman ain't having it. <laughs> This woman lives for shiny plastic. Yeah. She's like she's a the only pie. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She is. <laughs> she's a fucking. She's not a woman. She's forty birds <laughs> all stood together. I'm gonna bake her into a pie. She's a fucking slag pie. That's what she is. <laughs> slag That's pie. someone's mum that you just called a slag pie. <laughs> oh, God. We'll never quality street. Purchase this product Purchase. ever again, and you can take that and put it where you like, because this is a travesty. Our whole family every year has enjoyed Quality Street in its shiny wrappers, especially the purple ones. Now, who wants to eat this piece of garbage? I do. Yeah, it's nice. Don't eat the paper. I don't <laughs> care. Eat the chocolate. The chocolate inside. <laughs> it's the same chocolate. It's exactly the same. It's like, how how obvious can you be that you are so easily influenced by advertising? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking unreal. What I love about this as well is there's a little moments where she's definitely got, she's not fully thought out the script, <laughs> no. right? Yeah. She's like, I'll just riff it. I'll just riff it. You start filming it. I'll just let it come out of me. Yeah. She's like, and you, you can put that where I, you like. I have this. Gr- um, it's bad. I have this great image that dad's filming it where it is muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is being filmed by the saddest man in the country. Oh, Just God. some tiny, timid little man. Like Women like this always have a really timid little husband Yeah, yeah, yeah. who's just been browbeaten for years. And yeah. he's just like, oh, maybe if I do this, it's Christmas, you might. Yeah, I, and I, this, I, by I, the way, this, by the way, goes out to every man who has a girlfriend uh, under 35 or, uh, or a partner or is cohabiting over 35 um, <laughs> who just lets his partner get away with things because he's anything for an easy life. You cannot do that. Yeah. With women, no offence yeah. to women, but you've got to fucking... You, you've, you've, you, you've got to rein them in a bit because an unreined woman can turn into this... <laughs> This is what happens when a man doesn't dominate his household. <laughs> this, this is, is what an unrained woman. Yes, yeah, is it? If she you, needs I a muzzle wanna, herself. I don't want to go all Andrew Tate. No. I don't want to be that guy. No. But, but this is what happens when you don't say to your girlfriend, you just shut the fuck up. Honestly, like, like, when you don't say that once in a while, yeah. this is where we end up. 60 years of being a cunt could be solved with one swift backhand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Rolled up newspaper, just yeah, yeah. bop. Bit of a t- t- water yeah, spray, yeah, yeah. but no, like it is a th- it is a thing of like yeah that strategy of like I'm just gonna go along with whatever for an easy life. You are just setting yourself up to never have an easy. You're life. You're creating this. You're just gonna get monster. more and more problems, more yeah. and more problems. And also, just go out with someone who isn't a cunt. Just like just don't be with them. Yeah, I know, but I think that anybody, even a nice person, I think mm-hmm. after maybe three decades of not being challenged about your cunt behaviour yeah, yeah. will turn into a cunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it happens to people, you know. I think this might have happened a different way. I think this is a stepson filming it. And he's gone, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you should do the video. I have got a few TikTok followers, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> right, carry it on. I know I don't. So, Quality Street... Zero out of ten for festive cheer. You can put your chocolates where the sun never shines. <laughs> the little slam at the end. What I love is she's rated them zero out of ten for festive cheer. As opposed to her cheery festive demeanour. Her yeah, goodwill no, to mate, all men. Mate, you should see what she's like when she gets the rappers, though, that yeah, she likes. Yeah, she's like, oh, mate. Oh, I hear those sleigh bells jingling. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Are they not going to eat those quality street now, then? I think she's definitely, at some point later in the day, really sulkily unwrapped one of them. Yeah. And chewed it all grumpy. It's fucking insane, isn't it? I absolutely love it. I, like, the I, thing is- I don't know how to sort of say this, but I'm, I'm guessing that you know what you mean. But to look at her face, yeah. I bet she keeps really 
dry blowjobs. Oh, horrible. She's never given a blow. <laughs> no, she's given one. No, really no, she does, but you've got to wrap it, it in tinfoil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it look all shiny. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> She's no. like, Woo-hoo-hoo. her husband's got a really shiny dick. I think I think she did like t- once, but she like never shut up about it. She was just, like always like held it over. It was like I did that. And she's like, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And, like really like fucking like yeah. shitty about she's it. She's fuming, isn't she? Just like it's insane to give this much of a fuck about anything. And like if you are gonna go on the internet and complain about Nestle. Maybe make it about, you know, the child slavery and the baby powder formula scandal or any of that sort of stuff, destroying the rainforest. Not that my rapper isn't shiny (laughs) enough. You pathetic old bitch. Kill yourself. (laughs) I hope you choke on a fucking Brazil nut, you mad old slag. Get in the fucking bin. I, I hate people like this. Honestly, these people are like, why... Uh, like our country is shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these yeah. are the people who go and vote in every election, and this is what every part, uh, every party is aiming at. This is that who these are the voters that everyone wants. Because this is what Little Britain is like. This is what Middle England is like. These are the people behind suburban doors everywhere in our fucking country. These are the majority. There are more yeah. of these than there are like people who aren't knobheads, and that's why we're fucked. Because these yeah. miserable bitches, we have to pitch everything to. When Scottish and Irish and Welsh people complain about British uh, English people. Mm. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's, it's her. her. I, like, I agree. Yeah. yeah She's a them, yeah. cunt. Yeah, yeah. But you get these everywhere. You know, they're not who, just particular to Britain, but we she, do have a lot of them. Who was she filming this to exactly? Yeah. Like, like, to Nestle. Like, she thinks, I'll put this on the internet and everyone will agree with me. And Nestle will be like, you know what? You spoke, we listened. It's just these yeah. rappers are shiny as fuck. Yeah, like we've, <laughs> we've rolled them in glitter and put a sparkler up. Are you wearing your sunglasses next Christmas? <laughs> yeah, like you, when, uranium infused. <laughs> like when a six-year-old writes to fucking Asda or something. Yeah. And goes, Tiger bread's a silly name. Mm. I think you should call it giraffe bread. And for a week they go, oh, that's funny, clever marketing. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah, going to yeah, open yeah. it next year. And it'll be like that scene in Pulp Fiction where they open the case. <laughs> 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 I think they should send her a special tin where they grey out all of them. (laughs) All of them are just in grey paper. Just like fucking miserable bitch. Imagine being like, you're not being festive, you miserable cunt. It's like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Imagine being in their fucking family. Anyway. Finished. I've, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, have we got? We got a feature, Tom. We could do cunt of the week. Oh, let's do. Let's do excellent new feature, cunt of the week. I really like cunt of the week. It was great last week. We had a great. I, Who won last week, Tom? I'll tell you what. It was a draw. It was a draw. It was a draw. I know it was lad baby one. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I really hope for cunt of the week. Yeah. I really hope, and, and the feature hangs on this. Yeah. That there are three cunts. There has to be and three there good are cunts not, for there, us to there, choose there are from. Not, just two good cunts, yeah. and then he's just like stuck in like Joey Barton or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be really bad if there was like you know not enough specific stories to fill the whole feature, so we had to just pluck someone off the internet, yeah. like say Joey Barton, like someone like that. Anyway, Tom, who's cut of the week this week? Well, the first one. Yeah. Um, have you been following Joey Barton? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a genuine contender? Yeah, you can, well, we could just do two if you want, but he can be in there as well. <laughs> So we didn't you need... need to stand up for your feature a bit more here, Well, Tom. the problem was was that <laughs> Cunt of the Week has been recorded, but as we record this, it hasn't been out yet. Yeah. So not many people have, not many people have the problem. contributed to Cunt of the Week. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So once they see how good like... it is, once they see how much this feature is flying, <laughs> yeah. they'll all be like, oh, I can't wait to be on Cunt of the Week. I'm just remembering last week when he was like, it's a draw. We all had to sit and just wait for whatever was going to happen next. <laughs> right, okay, let's and do that. Maybe one. Let's go. No, I, look, I really want this to work. Can Tom's we do the stick? Can we this? at least do the stick? Because that's the only good thing we'll about this. Do the stick. We'll do the stick. Right, I just want this to work. I want him. He's, he's, he's put so much into this. Yeah, this is a very for him. different tone for uh, from last week. I know, but I felt sad after last okay. week. He like, you know, looked really sad because we were mean it's about it. It's time him. for Cunt of the Week. Gonna land on this time. Lad baby again. It's lad baby. Mad. Lad Lad every time. What are the the chances? Yeah. So who were your nominees this week, Tom? Uh, So we got Joey Barton. (laughs) All right. What's he done? Uh, He's been a cunt. (laughs) (laughs) Tom. 
Tom, I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. We really set him I'm up. I'm trying. We're trying to give you every oh, chance. Got any? Uh, been Specifically not... how? Because oh. the worrying thing was, I saw your little spreadsheet there. <laughs> Nothing written next to his name, was there? No, it was a very last minute addition. <laughs> I mean, Tom, you, you were both there when Tom, we did it. Oh, did you only have 10 days to sort this, did you, Tom? <laughs> Well, I only had 10 minutes to add a third. Right. I thought another one might come in. Yeah. I actually, look, I'll help him out. He had a go at Lucy Ward. I know he did that. Who's yeah. Lucy Ward? Lucy Ward, she's a, she used to work for Leeds United, actually, but she's a commentator and, like, football coach. She's actually one of the, she's a really good pundit. She's really insightful uh -huh. and really good. But she basically had a go at her and another female pundit just because oh, that's I what he does. Oh, I think it was Annie Luco. He right. said, like, yeah. he, Fred and Rose West or something. Yeah, he compared right. it to Rose West. But what he did do, he doubled down on it. Yeah. He doubled down on it. Right, well. can you find this so we actually get yes. the actual thing? Yeah. What have you searched for here? Joey Barton. I'm on Joey Barton's page. Oh, yeah, right. he doesn't tweet a lot, does he? So uh, yeah, this yeah, one yeah. take ages. Yeah. How is she even talking about men's football? She can't even kick a ball properly. Your coverage of the game EFC last night, did that the wrong way around, yep. took it to a new low. Any of Luke and Lucy Ward, the Fred and Rose West of football commentary. I just don't really get... Oh, that's a nah. great comment, by the way, underneath. Yeah. Someone's put, surely you could have thought of murderers closer to home. That's... <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. That is beautiful. Um, I don't really get like what he's driving at there. I think he's just picked... They've taken football he's punditry up to the moors and buried it. <laughs> Yeah. No, Tell me that, whether... was, that was in the West. Or was it not? Oh, that was... No, the West was Patio. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. You're no, thinking wait. of Myra Hindley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I've, yeah, got, yeah. I've, got, I've got my big bad murderers mixed up. Yeah, yeah. The, the the West was under the patio thing. Right. Yeah. So is he saying football punditry is under her patio? I think so. I think right. he's just they murder in commentary. Yeah, it's just not good. It's not a good... Uh, not a good analogy. Yeah. It's not a good analogy. He's not, not, not very good with words, is he? He's not. He's Also, the game EFC is really bad. If you're going to call someone out for not being good at talking about things... Yeah. We're going to go that. I think it's like any of Luca, I've seen her say some daft stuff before, but I think she's all right generally. She's fine. Yeah. But like Lucy Ward is actually genuinely actively good. And it's like, that's when you show yeah. you're just having a go at women. You know, yeah. it's just like, come on, lad. So there you go. There he's a cunt. Uh, Union Berlin, the football club called him out yeah. and he had to go to them for the Second World War. <laughs> Famously started by Union Berlin. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was the Berlin Derby really got out of hand that year, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, don't, don't tell Tom more about it. He'll start crying. <laughs> what? Oh, because it's in the list. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he did a vote as well that women should be out of commentary. Let me guess. Let me guess. He put this vote on his uh, on his own profile. Yeah. And when it came in and uh, most people agreed with him, he then took that as a sample size indicative of the whole country. Yes. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, okay. Um, but it wasn't really that conclusive because a lot of people said couldn't give a monkey. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you look at the results of that, the majority said yes or couldn't care. So the majority are fine with it. So yeah. actually, <laughs> you've proved that you're a dickhead in the minority with your own poll of your own Spastic but, fans. I mean, if you, how have you fucked that here's, up? Here's 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 the importance of biased polling. If you went into a certain house in the UK and asked the inhabitants whether or not they thought that the shiny rappers no longer on Quality Streets yeah, yeah, yeah. was ruining festive cheer, yeah. there's one house that would be all for agreement. Yeah, this is it. Like this is. And like he's not even managed it when he skewed it to his own followers. Though. Yeah, he's not even managed to prove it. It's fucking pathetic. Most people don't give a shit. That's how I feel. I don't give a shit. I want people to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want people to be good. I, I find Garth Crooks offensive, but I also Karen Carney's a cunt. Wait a minute. Like you know, it's so like you you hate Garth Crooks. Yeah. You hate any Luca. Yeah. I also hate the gays. I know where you're going. <laughs> Just saying. One step ahead of you. If Thomas Hitzelsberger's on a fucking punditry, <laughs> I would be furious. What do you think about Micka Richards? I think Mickey Richards is fun and he adds vibes. Do you, think, do you think he's good? Oh, fun and vibes. Yeah. I think that's I think there's two roles a pundit can perform. You can either be a really good analyst or you can be really fun. And he's one of those. Like okay. Thierry Henry is really fun, doesn't add that much fun. You know, like uh, then there's some people who get but into the details. The thing with Thierry Henry, right, yeah. as a commentator, is you go, you were so good at football yeah, yeah. that I kind of I know you know what you're talking about, even if you can't sort of express it into words that I understand. Yeah, but in order to be a pundit, you need to be able I know, to express I know, that. I know, That's but the just, job. But he's just, also doing it in his second language. Yeah, and like, Henri's great. I think he's great. He's good. I, I think he's great. Is, he's, is, he's good to have on it. That's what I'm saying. He's an example of someone who adds something. He adds charisma. He's I entertainment as well as it think, is informative. You, you, know? might be able to, you, you might be able to stop me, 
But I don't think that there's a better uh, football player who turned into a commentator. Like, I think he's the best commentator. Oh, he was best a as a... As, there's a, a, there's a, a few player. who are right up there, though. There's a few, like, uh, the old Dutch players who've become commentators. Skulls would be, Skulls would be in with a yeah, shout. Yeah, like Hullet would be right up Skulls, there. Skulls, yeah. Uh, Hullet would be in with a shout. But, yeah, he's there's probably... A, there's, a, there's a bunch of, like, ones who are Quentin not... Quinton Fortune. Makaleli's done some punditry, and he's right up there. No, I know, but you wouldn't class uh, Makaleli in the same as Henri. Like no, Makaleli was a great player for what he did, but he's not Henri. Defined a role, yeah. like you know. Anyway, I the... think if you ask, uh, I think if you ask Zidane, he would disagree with you. Actually, yeah, I'm not asking Zidane. Right. Well, you know, I thought you'd, uh, players who fucking were, like great would know about things. Ooh. What? Stay on a topic, you dick. <laughs> Choose a side. <laughs> Right. Can I nominate Freddy for Cunt of the Week? Yeah, you can do No, because it was the four. Yeah. Well, we could take one out. Yeah. Because the other two aren't that great. Right, so right. we got Joey Barton. Joey Barton. I, I, down. I nominate Tom for this feature. <laughs> right. You did it last week. Right, 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 right. Listen, listen. Look, Joey Barton's a cunt. Right, but then whatever. he doubled down. Right. I don't care. We he don't. Said, ca- I don't care. Right, no, we no, we got. To, let him make his case. Okay. Let him make oh, his not case. make a case. I just think it's a funny tweet. Okay. He said, on reflection, I feel I've been a bit tad harsh on Ian Luco by comparing it to Rose West. I had a bit of time to consider the impact of my words after ITV football big statement. And you're thinking, oh, here's an apology. She's clearly in the Joseph Stalin Pol Pot category. She's murdered hundreds of thousands, if not millions of football fans' ears in the last 20 years. He's just an idiot. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not even that, though. He's just, like, cynically trying to do it. Like, you know, like, when Mary Earps won Sports Person of the Year, he tweeted, well done. Then that got loads of bad feedback, so he deleted it and, like, tweeted, oh, fuck this. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he's so transparent. He is, he is the same energy as the guy wearing the muzzle to the pub. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. The yeah. It's just the same like, It's just a fucking irrelevant con trying to, like, uh, grasp onto any it's sort It's working, of though, because he's, he's, he's saying this podcast, so, like, yeah. like, I might disagree. To be honest, I don't even know if I do disagree with him, but he's he's working do. it well. He's working it well. He's playing his game, and you've got to respect his game. No, I don't respect his game, so I think it's pathetic. I think it's, like, the most pathetic, cowardly, bitchy thing you can do is be someone who goes online and just parrots things that you know mongs will agree with in order to try and get yourself this sort of notoriety, I think it's we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I just think, I just think it's pathetic. I think I have yeah, no yeah. respect for people who do this. Well, let's I, have a look I, at... I, like, I think it's like honest. Like, I think it's like the most shameful thing you can be is someone who goes on the internet and just says deliberately, like going like in order to try and get like you know fucking Andrew Tate fans on your side. I, I don't think, think it's even the most shameful thing that he's done. He put a cigar out in someone's eye. Yeah, I think he's a cunt. And I think he's like he's so irrelevant. Well, you I'm... think he's a cunt. That's interesting. Let's try and stay on this feature. Go. The other Why are ones. You trying to bring it back? Because yeah. this feature is so bad. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is bad. Okay, do you want ticket cunt or bus cunt? Well, just whatever is your feature. Ticket cunt. This one's from Slushy. Yeah. My friend had a ticket to a sold out show in Wembley. We often go to gigs and nights out. He told me how good it was, and then when I asked how he got a ticket, he said he ended up with two spares from his friend. When I asked why he didn't invite me, he said, you didn't cross my mind. Snide cunt. He just didn't want to go with him. What? So his friend went his with His friend, else. who he always goes to gigs with. Right, went with someone else to a gig. No, not, not, gig. not always. Often. Yeah, often. often. Yeah. And uh, gigs and nights out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, it's a sold out gig, maybe, you know, it's at Wembley, they're probably quite expensive, so he probably wasn't just buying loads of spare tickets in case one of his mates wanted to come. He probably... Planned it before, and yeah, you're not that important this, that you are central to everyone else's life. So yeah, maybe he did. You just didn't cross his this mind. Strikes yeah, that's me, fine. This strikes me. What as, an arrogant cunt! This strikes like, the me. person who wrote this is a cunt. <laughs> this strikes me. This strikes me. Slushy, moderator of the discourse. Yes. <laughs> what a cunt! This this strikes me as the sort of person who would never have thought to offer his friend the money for the ticket. Yeah. And that's why he didn't get asked. Also... Yeah, maybe you're a bad gig friend. (laughs) Also, now that I know that this person is a moderator of the Dead Men Talking (laughs) Discord, I think I know why people don't invite him out socially. Because he stinks. Yeah, because he stinks. (laughs) He's autistic as fuck. And just sit there going, do you like rape jokes? So that's probably it. Probably ruining the vibe. Would, Would you like to hear my Taylor Swift impression? Should we go around smelling women? Bad. So, yeah, that's it. So, right. So, Slushy's a cunt. Right, Slushy's a cunt. <laughs> Slushy's right up there with Joey Barton as a front runner to this award. You've got one more. <laughs> Bus cunt. <laughs> the 40 year old man who asked me, 28 female, to get off my bus seat so the elderly could sit down, only to then sit down in the seat I'd just got up off. What? Is what? this guy a cunt? I don't understand. So, she was sat on a bus. Yeah. And a 40 year old man. How does she know she's, that he's 40? Don't know. She's estimated that. She's estimated that. Yeah. Yeah. So someone has asked for her seat. Yeah. She's gone, okay. Yeah. That he's sat in it. 
Yeah. And, now and then she's angry. <laughs> well, he said, sit up for the elderly. And then he's sat in it. He's not said, I want your seat. Right. So st- st- stand up she's for the elderly. guessed he's 40, doesn't know that. Doesn't Could be know. any age. Yeah. yeah. Right. Maybe he was making a little lighthearted joke. You know? Yeah. Oh, me for the elderly. And she's gone, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what's happened. And like, you know, maybe this person's like, you don't know what the fuck's going on with this guy. Because he might, have, he's like, probably he might thought, have a major injury, he might have a disability. He's yeah, he's yeah. probably, I think the joke thing's right. I yeah. think what's happened is he's seen it. And because the thing is, at 40, you think that you can plow 28 year old puss. I also, think. this guy's definitely 50. She thinks he's 40. Yeah, and also as well, this guy, this one's. Yeah. Definitely ugly if she listens to this. So, oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know this is a big fat monster. Uh, oh yeah, a fat twenty-eight year old, like fat forty odd. Monta covered in self arm scars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah, big yeah. fat monta covered yeah. in self arm scars, <laughs> age twenty-eight, is yeah. like an average woman, age thirty-nine. Oh, way older than that. Forty-two. Like one of our fans is equivalent of like a seventy-eight-year-old normal woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like dog years, isn't it? Yeah, our fans? yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit of, in dead men years. So, yeah. so and dead men stone. Not the only like... thing dog about them. <laughs> so anyway. So th- so she sat down and he's yeah. gone. Oh oh! You oh look at that disgusting elderly. fat mess. You should I, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kill yourself for yeah. the elderly. Yeah. Do them this way. Do them this way. <laughs> but he's made a joke. Oh, the elderly need to sit there. Yeah. I am a bit older. And she's gone. All right. And he's gone. Fuck. Yeah. I guess I should sit. How weird would it be if I just didn't sit down now? Yeah. So he's had to sit down. Maybe yeah. he's gone. She could do with a bit of exercise. Get up. Can you imagine that? Oh, can when you, you ma- get up? When do you get off a stop early? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do yeah. some jumping jacks for the elderly? <laughs> Crossfit for the elderly. <laughs> Burpees for the elderly. <laughs> oh god! Right. So, what you brought to us this week? So, so this week, just to be clear, just, just to be clear, clear, what you brought to us this week <laughs> yeah, yeah. is somebody went to a gig, right? Someone who sat in a bus seat, yeah. and Joey Barton. And Joey Barton. <laughs> It's a tie. It's a draw. <laughs> how do you want us to vote for this time? How do you want to do it? You vote however you want, mate. Right, but no, but how do you want the voting to commence? Do you want me to vote? You, who do you think is the you, biggest cunt you, of, of the week? You of do the week? it first. You do it first. No, I'll be the last I'll, t- one. I'll tell you who I think is the biggest cunt of the week. Me and Freddie for sitting here <laughs> while you fucking do this shit. For allowing this to occur over and over again. I think it's us and all the listeners that you've made a cunt of. Oh, so everyone is at me. <laughs> I'm not against that. <laughs> I think the biggest cunt of the week is Joey Barton. That's my vote. How about you, Freddy? Uh, I was going to go with the bus. The bus. The bus. Yeah. yeah. I assume you're going with the ticket, are you not, Tom? I <laughs> the <laughs> 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 ticket. We'll go it's like a draw. draw. It's a draw. Well, there's it's only one thing for it. We're going to have to spin the wheel. <laughs> Spin the wheel for Cunt of the Week. Time for Cunt of the Week. Stop it. Well, we know it's now it's gone to chance. Oh, God. Oh, it's Lad Baby again. It's Lad Baby. Lad Baby's Cunt of the Week. Two weeks in a row, Lad Baby's won. <sighs> I don't think this has got another week in it. I don't think it's got another week. (laughs) This feature relies on you, the listener, (laughs) to send in some people you think are cunt of the week. Don't you blame the listeners? Don't, for this. don't blame them yet. Don't got... victim blame our listeners for this feature. And they well, they haven't heard the feature yet. <laughs> I've heard it twice now. And you've heard it twice. I don't think they're going to go wild for it. I'll I be don't honest. know. I don't know if this is going to be the one that's going to light on fire. <laughs> we'll give it another. Who week. knows? Right, we'll give it another week. You've got one more week, right? Because this will be out. They'll have a whole week of them. Them. I'm flying into the. I assume the inbox will be full of them next week. You'll have loads to yeah. choose from, and they'll all be great. Exactly. And none of them will just be someone you've thought of who we can Google. None of them will be that. <laughs> Joey Bart. Joey Bart. Oh God. So yeah, if you know someone in your life, or you've seen someone online, you think is a cunt, they might win cunt of the week. Or it might be Lad Baby maybe again. If it's Lad Baby again, we're stopping the feature. <laughs> do you want to, um, before we uh, go, do you want to have a look at a little video that I found? You found a little video, have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you go on to the first, the first one there. The, the f- Why did you click off that? Oh, line? I thought you meant the first email. Which the you, first, the on. first one. No, you are. I don't want to shit myself on the Do you not think a child has shit herself? Were you speaking to them like that? Stop you it. actually have shit Stop yourself, it. you dirty little oh, boy. So it's it's uh, it's a pedo hunter sting, right? But the pedo's turned up in his dressing gown. No, no, this is 
This is his house. Oh, right. Because I he's... normally thought how they work was they lure them somewhere. He shits his pants. Maybe this. I, I know that. I was just saying, I was. I don't know. He's so desperate to get to the pooey bit. It's like, but he shits his pants. He poos himself. I was more worried about like how this is set up. Because like, is it in this one, has he gone, no, you come round to mine or something? Maybe he's got a hotel room or something yeah, like that maybe. for them. The dressing gown is incriminating, I think. If you're in a non Sutton video and you're in a dressing gown, also, not good. If you're shitting yourself in a dressing gown, that's. There's nowhere for the poo to just. One of the worst outfits. <laughs> to shit yourself no in. No way for the poo to localise. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. If you shit yourself in like skinny jeans, you sound. You oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you shit yourself in skinny jeans, I would say that if you were really desperate, that's two hours before it becomes untenable. I have <laughs> done it and done a whole rap battle with the shit in my pants. <laughs> I, I won a rap battle having shat myself before it began thanks to skinny jeans. But if you've been wearing a dressing gown... Oh, like, I, you lose the rap battle if people know you've shit yourself. And yeah, if you're in a yeah. dressing gown... To be honest, if you turn up to a rap battle in a dressing gown, you're having a rough afternoon as it is. Yeah. You know, I would suggest. It's giving your opponent a little to work with. If you then shit yourself because you're a paedophile, you lose it. I think there's one word outfit. Yeah. Kilt. Kilt is right Because up there. if you went to kill, you commando, yeah. and also you're almost certainly at a wedding. Mm. So then you've shit yourself at a wedding as yeah. well. Go. Or you're doing that dance where it's <laughs> flapping up. Yeah. Go, go back go back to the beginning so we can yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciate right it beginning. fully. Appreciate. Okay. No. Just... No, you are. Don't want to shit myself on the feet. Do you not think a child has shit herself? But you speaking to them like that, you're actually have shit yourself, you dirty little boy. Why are you smelling it? <laughs> Why are you smelling it? <laughs> That's the first shit, eh? <laughs> That's the first shit, eh? What? You need to you, you, need, you need to leave the premises and I suggest you go in that corner. I told you I need to go in the toilet. Why do you keep touching yourself? I'm trying to wipe it. Listen, you're all taking the apple. Jesus Christ, you want, you're one of a kind you if you're definitely... Why are you smelling it? It's actually a really good defence strategy. It's a great defence. It's like, if you just pause, right? It's the strategy that, really... like, prisoners often use it in a riot. Like, they'll sh cover themselves in shit so the guards yeah. won't want to attack him. He's done yeah. that. He's basically done, like, a, a skunk defence. Hasn't <laughs> 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 it? It's like, he's just he's skunked himself. Pe Pepe Le Pedo! <laughs> <laughs> Pedo Le Pew! <laughs> He just smells a child and he's dancing off after them. Ding, 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 ding. Tell his Pepe Le Pudophile. He's the better. It works better. Does it? Yeah, does it, I think Tom? So. I think so. Does it? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Pepe Le Pudophile. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I do think, right. Whilst he's obviously very funny that a nonce has shit himself, I, this does, right, for me, show the problems with nonce hunters is that most of the people that they trap are deeply mentally ill like this guy yeah. doesn't know what the fuck is going on right he has he is a space cadet he should be in a hospital tied down to a bed yeah like right? this guy i'm sure you could trap him into anything he's fucking mental you know what i mean yeah, yeah. yeah. You, could, like, you could pretend to be a hedgehog that wants to get fucked yeah it's just like when it when when you know when it's when they do a nonce hunter where it's just like some creepy bloke i'm like ah sound when they turn up where they're like fucking clearly tapped yeah it's obvious that that they've groomed him yeah yeah this is the thing should like, watch the last few seconds it is funny yeah, yeah. oh god yeah you're the jet wash guys finish me there, you pressure washer on you just actually flipped shit, you dirty little cunt. You yeah, fucking you stamp. Let me up, so I wouldn't give a fuck, you stop nonsense, kid, you little stamp's ass. Yeah, I do think it's quite, like, you know... I don't think you could have that much you go. You pedo hunted him. Yeah. I think if he flicks a bit of shit at you, that's what all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, pedo hunting someone is really, really rude. Yeah. Right. It's really <laughs> like, it's not cool, is it? Like, if you got, pe if I got pedo hunted, I'd be really annoyed. I'd be like, are you? I thought I was going to get my dick sucked by a child and yeah. now you're here. Where's Let's, your manners? Have a bit of shit, you fuck. You've ruined my afternoon. Have a bit of that out here. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man some crap at him. Flick a bogey at him as well, like yeah. right? Yeah. Also, as well, like, so he must have answered the door thinking it was the kid. Yeah. I have the shit first. Well, maybe the shit was part of it. Uh, or maybe it's like, you know, it happens every time I go for a shit, we get a delivery. You know, like, maybe that's happened. You know, it always happens at the worst time. <laughs> yeah. He's mid crap and he's got pedo wanted. Oh. How inconvenient. <laughs> Be a real, real pain in the ass. Yeah, it? yeah. Just leave it by the bins. <laughs> <laughs> he, what he needs is a ring doorbell. He does. Yeah, to speak off his phone. To, are you nonsenses? <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, this one's kind of sad. I think it's funny. It is funny. It is also funny sad. Yeah, but it's got poo. It does have poo in it. It's also, nobody it. got hurt. He's a poo defile. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good Thanks, one. mate. Peppy Le Pew Defile. <laughs> yeah. I love that you came with that as a note as well. Like, it's like I fixed it, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll polish this up for you, pair of professional comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Arrogant little shit. He should have done better. That's <laughs> what I feel about Cunt of the Week every week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You won't be worried about it for long. <laughs> Because the <laughs> listeners will yeah. get, get in touch with some good cunts of the week. Honestly, we're going to have to do an in-memoriam for all of Tom's right. features at some point. Here's the thing, not here's thing. what celebrities do you think cunt of the week is going to outlast in 2024? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to out, like, I don't think many of them. I think David Attenborough's going to live longer than fucking <laughs> cunt of the week. <laughs> David Attenborough is actually one of the faces in the wheel of Cut of the Week. I think a baby has more chance of like living longer in the care of Lucy Letby than a feature has of being under the care of Tom. <laughs> that baby who's surrounded by 31 pit bulls <laughs> <laughs> is going to live longer than Cut of the Week under the care of Tom. We'll see. We'll see, though. It could be a real underdog story. Maybe next week he'll come with now, three bagging cunts. We'll I have, have a, a great feeling, time. I have a feeling that our fans, being the way that they are, yeah are going to pretend that they like this feature because they know that we hate it so much. <laughs> I think so I'm just calling it. it right now. Yeah. I can see the YouTube comments in my mind. Yeah. And it's all, great feature, Tom. Well done. Congratulations, Tom. Yeah, little bitches. Amazing. Really funny from Tom. Yeah. That's because that's what all the comments are all the time anyway. Yeah, you do realise that's just to spite us. Nah, it's because they love me. Right. Because I'm so lovable. Mm, definitely that. <sighs> Right, are we done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, get on our Patreon, because we like money, and uh, we can't keep a sponsor. <laughs> Join our Patreon to hear more on that. <laughs> There's loads of extra episodes. You get extra on every, every week. We go shit loads of stuff on there. There's loads of fun things. It's £3 a week, and, uh, yeah, you get access to loads of stuff. By the way, don't sign up to the free uh, tier. We're going to have to put a thing on Patreon. People keep switching to the free tier, and they're finding out they get nothing, and they're getting upset. That's why it's free. Like, there is a free... The annoying thing on Patreon is there is a free trial of, like, the paid tiers. That gets you access Which to everything. Which is... And that, by the way, is us yeah. who've enabled that, because yeah. we want you to have a free trial. Yeah. Because we want you to see that it's good. Exactly. But Patreon have made this thing called Become a Member. A free that's, member. That's, that, that's free. That doesn't do anything. You don't get anything. You can't access you, anything. You don't get anything. But also, we don't get your details to be able to tell you, hey, you've not signed up to the right thing here. Yeah. It's literally fucking pointless. It's the most annoying thing on the fucking uh, and, thing. and Patreon just won't remove it. They won't remove it. So make sure you sign up for a free trial because you can have it all for free. But make sure you sign up for a free trial. Anyway, that's it. That's our little rant on Patreon. Yeah. It does be fucking editing that they've changed that. Also, dead, uh, and dead Meat. Dead Meat is happening on July 27th. Get your tickets now. The lineup is already fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah. the lineup is already worth three times as much as we're charging, as it is. And we are going to add so much more. We've already got oh. Bobby Mayer, Red Richardson, Hattie Preston, Jamie Hutchinson, Matt Richardson, Finn Taylor, Cunt and the Gang, Dan Nightingale, Ishan Akbar, Rachel Fairburn, all of us, and shitloads more that we haven't announced yet. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, we're also going to put the uh, Excel Bully Rap guy. Yeah, we're getting him down there. <laughs> uh, Full hour of XL bully raps just and for Rob. There will be a lookalike there, but not in costume. So look <laughs> forward to that. Uh, and yeah, also, if you want to send us in some videos when we've got guests, uh, send us in the worst videos on your phone to 07354 188 257 on WhatsApp, and we'll show them to some people and upset them. Uh, I think that's everything we've got to say, in it? Bye. Well, we'll show it to people if they turn up. <laughs> yeah, if they turn up. <laughs> if the guests arrive, they will be getting shown some videos. Otherwise, they won't. So, yeah. Bye. Fuck off.